Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. It's the blackest hearted man on social media. Sign of black in and shining again asking you to hit that share button because the message is more important than the messenger. That being said, look, um, I know the title is not very egalitarian sounding, but the truth is the truth. Um, we have been more loyal on average uh, when you consider our options. Now, this was something that was very difficult to tell, even as far back as just, I mean, even as recently back as hell, 2016 for that matter. But now uh, we've had more uh, opportunities based on uh, options. And uh, we can tell that we black men have actually shown more of a race loyalty when it comes to breeding. Now let's take the other people of color as uh, part of the assessment. Now, I just said on MOT's live stream, and thanks again for having me on, man. Um, and uh, Mufasa, aka Tori, uh, I'd like to meet um, the, or I'd like to send a message to the gentleman from Ghana. But I think I'm gonna have to go to your channel, so please come on this one and leave me a comment so I can trace, I can get to your channel from that, and then uh, tell him what I wanted to tell him. If I use WhatsApp, unfortunately, um, that could lead to. Uh, well, I have to protect the privacy of my kids. I'll put it like that. Um, also, um, anyway, we brothers have had options. When we were in Vietnam, I think that's when a lot of us realized the options. And uh, this does extend also to uh, other parts of the world as well, where this was not known. I mean, even here in the Middle East where I am, if the women get a successful black man, they're considered lucky. Um, they can brag about that. Now, for the black men that are citizens, they may be a bit more shamed, but it's more lust. Um, but even with regards to marriage, if they can get a successful black man, they're, they're considered lucky. That does not extend both ways. I had a student, uh, when I bragged about how I only marry black women, this is just weeks ago. For those of you who think I hate our women or who are gonna say that I do, it was just weeks ago I bragged to my students, I only marry black women. Your women cannot compete. But I was talking about the race, not the nationality. Not the US nationality or the Canadian or the UK nationality. I was talking about the African race. I said, I only marry black women. Your women would be able to compete if they were more in touch with their blackness, if they were more aware of their black blood, and if they raised better versions of you. But I know what kind of mothers they must be because you all are lazy. And they took it as a joke, but these two really, really better when twins I have in my class uh, always cause trouble. One of them said, doctor, maybe you can only marry, maybe you can't marry anybody else. And at, the at first I thought he meant that psychologically speaking, I couldn't. So I told him, I just told you I can't. Now I realize what he was saying. He, he, what he meant to say was maybe they're the only ones that would marry you because they'll marry because they'll take anyone because nobody else will take them. It took me a while to realize that because I don't think that way. I had to stop and remember to think from his standpoint. And he's the darkest in the class, these twins. They clearly have black blood. They just got straight hair. They don't even have small noses and, and uh, small lips for that matter. They only have straight hair, nothing else. Um, so th this is embedded in them. But uh, I wanted to explain this too though. Sisters, you don't have these options that brothers got. Recently, some of you have, been, you have been able to get these options. This is a recent phenomenon. We know this. We know this has not always been the case. Recently, some uh, some others like Alexis Ohanian are willing to marry some of you. And that's, you know, you got to have either their blood already in you or you got to have more money than they do. Um, otherwise, they're not going to even give you a chance. They won't even, some lick them. They won't give you a chance. They wouldn't even consider it. And we, we understand, we look at you and we can see how gorgeous you are, they can't. 
even when you leave the West, the men who have some of our blood in them but don't know it can't see the beauty in you. We've had these options and we've known it. You've not had these options for a while. And uh, the thing is that we see that when some of you find the option, the rest of you celebrate it. And this is proof positive. But there's one other thing I want to tell you. And I've said it before, but I'm going to repeat it in this one. When we have options, do you know that the white woman usually is the last one for us? Many of us would take an Asian woman. If I had met my wife, well, I met her, but if I hadn't found out that somehow she had noticed me, I would have gone to Southeast Asia and looked for some of them. I would have actually considered a Blasian. I would not have considered one who had a white parent. But you see, you can take that Asian with that flat booty that we don't like. And we'll give her a shot in many cases before we would give that white woman a shot because we can perceive the danger of that white woman. So when you talk about interracial, you're thinking about us on top of white women. No, that sounds like a very bad porn plot or, or porn fantasy. When we think interracial, usually for us, it's another woman of color. That's usually what, and then that's also true on the continent as well, believe it or not. You see, you can find Gambians that are married to Filipinas. That happens too. Now, do they have to have something? Yeah, but they can still get married to Filipino women, especially if she's Muslim. This happens. Yeah, see, y'all thought Filipinas were only marrying black American men. No, they're marrying men from the continent too. He's got to be able to afford the trip, but they can do that. So what you have to understand is that uh, it's not like what you think. You don't have the options. We do. I'm not saying this to brag because my, I still chose somebody from back home from the eastern coast, from the horn. But I still want you to, uh, to keep in mind as well that at the end of the day, you just don't have. You can't do what we've been doing. You never could. Um, and so now that you perceive that some of exceptions of you have, uh, you could say, extra racial options, you now want to sit up and openly say that we should keep it black, but you don't have to. I'm not about to sit up and endorse that for a second. Actually, because you drove us away and we didn't drive you away, what's been happening all along has been making perfect sense. We prefer you, you don't prefer us. We then go with other women of color, and the last resort is that white woman. We're the ones that have actually behaved in a very logical fashion when you factor in the other women of color. You, what have you done? either the black negative stereotype that exists in the white man's mind or the white man who doesn't have to meet the negative stereotypes for black people. If he's a white guy, as a matter of fact, you prefer the stereotypes associated with white guys, the weakness, um, the nerdiness, and then you will overlook what they don't have, even though you social, even though we stereotype white folks as having more than we do, which is not even always false. That's actually the one true stereotype. And yet that's where you're not as strict. You have behaved very illogically because of your hypergamy. And that is not forgivable because you coupled it with, hyper, with hypocrisy. Those of you who have not done such, I wish you had not had to hear this because you should not have to suffer for a second for what the guilty have done. I think I've said enough. I hope one day the, that all I've said is no longer true. In the meantime, I hope it helps. The blackest hearted man on social media, sign a blackout. As-salamu alaykum and black male power just because she don't like it. And that's what she deserves.